So, another chapter of the Summer of Reliance closes. What did I learn and what can you learn? Well, I am currently still in Texas. Um, I'll be leaving tomorrow. But one thing that I learned, actually three things I learned were this. One, relationships are important and they really do matter. And as some may recall it, it's a lost start. Second, or second, we can be bold. And we can be bold even though we are broken, even though we are flawed, because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. So that way we can know God, and through God, He can give us strength. And finally, Lastly, I learned about truly trusting in God, leaning not on our own understanding, whatever it may seem weird, whatever it may seem confusing, whatever it may seem bizarre, just trusting in God if He directs and following Him. And following where He directs, whether that's Texas, Alaska, or New York City. Look to God to, to, to direct your path. I want to share some verses, some quick stories behind this real fast. So the first verse I want to share, I will go with the verse that God pointed out to me a whole lot this trip. Literally, on the way here, okay, I'm not joking, I saw a billboard for this. It was on my cup at in and out And if you have been keeping up with me, if not, no worries, happy to have you. But... Um, during the summer of Reliance, during a Reliance there, what we did is I challenged you to write down on a piece of paper Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. And this verse has been really prominent for me throughout this trip and throughout the summer and throughout this time. And I want to share it with you real fast. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. And this verse really has a lot to impact with me with this trip for the next verse I'm about to share, which has to do with the relationships, and I'll share a cool story there. Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the counterance of his friend. I share those two verses, especially that verse about the friend, um, because the Proverbs 27, 17 is a verse that a lot of people use about relationships. But what I see is, or whenever you go back and you read the Bible, sometimes really it reads you, but you go back and different things can be pointed out to you. But right now, what I'm getting from this verse is that we really need to make an effort to make friends um, and have relationships and you don't, may not go out and say hey Tommy you want to be best buds but just truly going out and trying to work on that lost art of relationship and here's the really cool story behind this so on the first day that I arrived in Texas it was completely sunny the entire day um, and right as we were unpacking right as I said well we're in Texas I, I made a little video um, I was like well we're in Texas we're finally at the hotel I stopped it we were getting our stuff out of the car and boom it just starts raining down like lots of rain all of a sudden really fast and so we of course have to rush in and because we rushed in we didn't get everything in our car at that exact moment and we ended up going to our elevator with like half our stuff knowing that we would have to come back. But can I just say that God's timing is perfect? Is it not perfect? Okay, not only, actually, I haven't really explained this yet, but I came here to Texas just because, wow, okay. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. This video, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. 
I'm not saying like give away your pet ponies that all of you have crazy that are painted with purple polka dots, but it's just miraculous how much God has intervened for this trip. And I don't know what he's doing. Like I seriously don't know, but I'm happy to have you here for the ride. So I was, um, I just got to my wisdom teeth out a few, probably a week ago. Um, I had just got to my wisdom teeth out and I, it was like three days after and I was still there recovering like, oh, like, you know how you do whenever you can't talk and your mouth is all swollen. But I was recovering from my wisdom teeth and I'm sitting here watching the Unashamed podcast and I see that Dallas from The Chosen is on it. I'm like, oh, that's cool. God, I wish I could be there. I wish I could be a part of these things because I would love to be a part of these things. I would love for God to use me. But I'm just sitting here like, Lord, just please let me be a part of this. And after I finished watching it, um, a few minutes later, my sister comes in and she's like, yo, okay, The Chosen, they're having a live event for the season or episode six premiere of season two. We have to go. I'm like, okay, let's do it. And so whenever I went to like, of course, like I had to take a minute because my wisdom teeth and everything. I was like, well, let's do it. And by the time I got in there, you know what happened? They were all sold out in like, I think eight minutes. And I was like, okay, well, Lord, you closed that door. If you wanted us to go, we would have gone. Thank you, Lord. But I always know that or at least I've learned in the past that if you are willing to go and if you're willing to truly just do anything, if that means helping, if that means just going to go, if you're willing to do it, the door may open, but you first, you have to knock. And if God lays that desire on your heart and if he directs you to knock, you better be knocking that door. So I knocked on the door by, I contacted the event organizer and I was like, hey, do you guys need any volunteers? And she was like, no, but how about this? Here are four free tickets to the event, this event that's already sold out. And I am so thankful that that happened. I don't know why she did it, but I'm thankful. I like, I, we would have gone and we would have volunteered, like seriously, just because that's how much we are behind the show. But God just chose to bless us in that way. So we're like, okay, well, Lord, apparently we're going to Texas. Yeehaw. <laughs> I, know, I know that's not really how Texans talk. I've been down here a week. Okay, don't forget. But we're over here and we're talking all about how awesome it is that we're going to Texas. And we go to Texas um, all the way here. We are going and it's completely sunny. The second, the second we get here, we start unpacking. I say a little video like, hey guys, we're here, yeah. Um, but I make a little video, uh, we unpack the car, and as we're unpacking, boom, rain just starts pouring, it starts storming. And as it starts storming, we have to rush in because we don't want to go have our stuff wet, and we take half of it up to the car through an elevator. Well, in this elevator ride, apparently this was like a divine appointment or something, but in this elevator ride, we ride in the same elevator as this guy named Dan Crystal. And Dan Crystal is this author who was here for this event, which the chosen premiere was actually at, but for this event called NRB. And he wrote this book called The Lost Art of Relationships. And so two things that we got from riding in this elevator because of the rain, because of God's perfect timing, is one, that relationships are really a lost art. And two, the second thing, is that there was this convention called the NRB, which we did not know about, but I was like, hey, let's go check it out. So next day I went to go check it out. Um, I actually didn't go in that day, but the second day, or I guess third day we were here, uh, great band, but third day we were here, we went and, or I really just went by myself. I used my own money, my hard earned yard work money um, to, we go into the event and God really used it to help me meet a lot of cool people. Um, not just people that I knew of before I came, but a bunch of guys um, who were my age. And I got to t tell them about a really cool project 
that I had, that God had laid on my heart. And just all of these tiny little things of how God had intervened. And so that's just kind of just a quick story. Um, I know there's so much more that God has done and that He is doing and that He planted the seeds of while I was here. But I'm going to share with you three verses real fast. Um, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. I share this because not only did I see this for several times, not only did I have a piece of paper in my pocket with it on it that I would look at constantly whenever I didn't really know what to do, I saw it on a billboard on the way here, on my in and out cup, and really just all throughout this trip. And that's just one verse that God was kind of pointing out to me. And whenever I would go and I would engage with these people, I wasn't doing it to gain, but because of what I had gained. I didn't even know why I was going up and talking to half these people. I was just like, hey, hey, what are you about? And God somehow used that. He somehow connected us. And God is just so good. Even whenever we don't see it, even whenever we don't know what we're doing, when we obey where He has directed and faith and lean not on our own understanding and just simply trust in Him. Here, let me read the verse again. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. The path of faith may not always seem clear itself, like the entire path, but the path of faith that you should take will be clear. Okay? You may not know where the path is leading, but trust in the Lord, and He'll direct you where you need to go. So, that's just something that I learned from Texas, just a quick story. Um, I'm so happy to have you here for whatever it is that God's doing. I have no idea, but I'm excited for it. I'll see you guys next time. Adios. And hey, don't forget, don't mess with Texas. All right, guys, what's up? Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you want to get this shirt or a shirt inspired by this Texas trip, look at the link in the description. And hey, while you're at it, go and watch another video. I'll see you guys in the next one.